The latest from Team Zorn, Zorn OS, Linux of course, Zorn OS number 16, this is the Pro Edition. I can't wait to look at this. Go grab some popcorn. All right, so this is the release candidate. This is about uh, one week before the official release date, I do believe. So this is my very, very first look. What you see is what you get. This is the default desktop. Uh, it's nice that they have OBS Studio pre-installed to record all this as you see here. So let's dive right in. So right click. And now this is based off the, uh, this is a modified version of the GNOME desktop. Very well done, I must say. I would say between this and probably Pop! OS are my, two, are my two favorite versions. Very nice selection of wallpapers. I'll just leave that the way it is. All right, settings. Again, if you have used the GNOME desktop, this should come as no surprise to you. Let's go ahead and move along. We have a panel here at the bottom. If we right click some modifications here, including a system monitor. And the 2.8 gigs for the GNOME desktop running the recorder sounds about right. GNOME is definitely not uh, lightweight. We have some taskbar settings here, very nice. Built in, we have style, position, behavior, and action. For the purpose of this test, I'm just gonna leave pretty much uh, uh, things at the default settings and not change uh, too much. So let's go ahead and move along. So shortcuts here at the bottom left, of course, OBS, the software center. Welcome to software. Let's go shopping. Should be pretty easy to use. So far, I do like the default colors and fonts. Now you can change change this to a, to a dark theme if you so want to. For now, I'll just keep this the way it is. All right, so the file manager, pretty basic stuff here. And Firefox is installed by default. I prefer Google Chrome myself. It says, say hello to Zorn OS Pro, learn more, and uh, sure. All right, let's see what this says. Say hello to Zorn OS Pro, built for professionals and power users. Oh, wait, wait, power users. Thank you, Arnold, for that the description. <laughs> those who want to unleash the full, that never gets old, I'm sorry. Who Those who want to unleash the full power of their full potential of their computer or the full power of their computer. So if you scroll down here, we have eight desktop layouts as we will take a look at this soon. There is a Windows 11 desktop, Windows 11 like Windows 11-ish, I guess, desktop layout. This is really a Chromebook, almost a Chromebook, a Chrome OS uh, copy of the look. Everybody's jumping out on the Chromebook wagon, at least for the looks, and that's fine with me. I love my Chromebooks, okay. Um, professional grade creative suite we'll take a look at and so on all right let's go ahead and dive right in yes we can close the tabs thank you let's dive right in. let's go to the Z menu or the start menu start button whatever you want to call it accessories games graphics internet and so on some shortcuts here a search tab here barrier I don't know what that is keyboard and mouse sharing solution ah the break timer computer break reminders for gnome Cool. Files Kua. <laughs> I have a joke, but this is a family channel. I can't say anything. Sorry. Uh, password and... All right. Text editor to do weather. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Very good. Games. Some games here. Let's go back. Graphics. Blender. Very good. Color picker. Dark table for photos. FreeCAD. The GIMP. Image Viewer, Inkscape, Krita, LibreCAD, LibreOffice Draw. So the LibreOffice Suite is installed by default. Open Tunes, uh, that says 2D Animation, Photos, and Scribus. Okay, let's go back and let's go to Internet Feeds. Ah, a newsreader for GNOME. All right, let's take a look and see what that looks like. I use Ticker, T-I-C-K-R. Uh, let's get started. So you have to import, add a news feed or import. Uh, okay, we'll skip that for now. I just wanted to see what it looked like. All right, going back to internet, uh, Ramina and transmission. Again, for myself, I would probably install Chrome. All right, office. All right, calendar contacts evolution. Folate home bank, LibreOffice suite, minder. Develop, create, develop, and visualize your ideas. Interesting. 
Okay. Un unnamed document. Okay. Almost like a note taker. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. So we were at office. Let's go to the, the this, this, this should be loaded as, uh, as I figured it would be sound and video Ardour six record, mix and master audio audacity. I use quite a bit, by the way, you can use audacity to record podcasts. Maybe I'll do a short tutorial on how to do that. Uh, blanket, listen to different sounds. Really? Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Ah, interesting rain. Storm, wind, waves, stream, birds, huh, um, I guess this is like background sounds to help you work, sleep, or relax, summer night, train, all aboard, Boat. Okay, city. Hey, come to New York and forget about it. All right, let's see here. Interiors, coffee shop. Okay. Fireplace. Pink noise. White noise. Um, cool. I really was not expecting that in custom too. So yeah. Okay. I guess something to soothe your mind. Why not? I like it. Okay. Brazero, burn CDs, cheese, webcam, handbrake, transcoder, Caden live installed by default. Good. Although I believe Caden live 18 version 18 something was the last great Caden live. Sorry. That's just how I feel. Mix digital interface MPV player. I believe I installed that one just to see if I could install through the terminal and I can. Network displays OBS Studio installed by default. PTV edit movies, videos, rhythm box, very good. Installed by default. I've been using this uh, since 2006. A terrific music player for Ubuntu based systems. What else do we have here? All right, the SM player, sound recorder, and videos VLC. Good. System tools, additional drivers, boot repair, disks, Gparted, install Zorn, the main menu, Mo Mos Mox Mosic setup. Don't know what that is. Power statistics, sent feedback, settings, software. All right, let's um. There's there's a lot installed here. So yeah. Oh wow. A software updater, startup applications, a tour, virtual box. Yeah, Zorin Appearance, Zorin Connect, uh, System Tools. Again, lots here. Um, why don't we, uh, there's Utilities, Backups, Calculator, Characters, yeah. Um, cool. Why don't we check out the uh, Zorin Appearance? How does that sound? All right, so eight choices. We got some themes. Again, you can go light or dark. Interface desktop icons on the desktop such as home or trash i guess we can leave trash for now fonts all right let's try the layout so we have the first one the second one as we go through this the third one okay standard ubuntu-ish gnome looking there Next one here, and uh, okay, workspaces here to the right. Don't notice any glitches. Cool. Let's go to this one, and let's see. Okay, drop down menu here, panel here at the bottom. Moving along, the next one. And looks like, okay, this is the Chrome, um, I keep thinking Chromebook. This is the Windows 11-ish look, which is somewhat Chromebook looking. And that's that's fine. I love my Chromebook. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, two more. Uh, this is the old Ubuntu Unity uh, theme with the panel here to the left. And the last one here. Um, 
cool. This is almost like a Windows XP-ish here type of look. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of choices. Um, don't know if I have a favorite. Magnificent. This is how a Linux-based friendly slash Windows friendly slash GNOME system should look like. It's it truly is a magnificent piece of work and. This may be the best GNOME desktop environment for a Linux-based system. It's it looks great. It's polished. You know these these guys have been doing this uh, 10, 11 years, and I have to tell you, as a Windows and Linux user, magnificent is the word that comes to mind. Well done. You can get more information off the Zorin blog. I, again, once again, I believe officially this will be released in about a week's time or so. This is their release candidate. By the way, I forgot to mention, I've been running this off a live USB stick. This is not installed. And it ran pretty fast, pretty fast. I am impressed. Well done. This may well be my pick, the Linux OS system of the year. Very well done if you're looking for something that's completely loaded, lots of bling. If you're looking for something simple, then I would probably stick with Ubuntu Mate. Now, one last thing, they do offer a liked version of this. Uh, so if you have an older machine, you may want to check out that one. But I like the way this looks. Check it out. Zorin OS Pro Edition number 16. Absolutely magnificent. Catch you on the next one. Take care.